Welcome back to the another chapter of MySQL series. Today our topic is TCL command in SQL. So first we will understand what is TCL. Like TCL is a transaction control language in SQL. There are a total three command in transaction control language which is commit, rollback and save point. It means using a commit you can you know permanently save any transaction like uh, wherever you are making for example you are creating an, any table so it will get saved directly into the database for example you have your uh, client uh, just now we are as we are using a mysql work with so it goes to the rdbm mess means into the our server or from there it will get saved into the drive or you can say database so that is commit okay so what is rollback rollback is simply you say it is kind of undo like for example i write like this anything and i press ctrl g it get and undo right so same thing it's did with the any transaction or you are creating any table or whatever it is called rollback so in simple terms you can say reporting the database to the last committed state or undo all right so what is save point now we will understand what is the save point save point is like you know you are saving something for the temporary base like you know temporarily save a transaction so that we can roll back to that point wherever we required like for example you put uh, insert some record like this and after you doing a roll back it what will happen it all will get rolled back or or why this all will get undo but if you use a save point like you know you use save point or you can say right i will write like this b and then you put some record and then again you use save point c and again you put some record and then you did like roll back roll back uh, you can say b so what will happen only the this record will roll back the c inside of the c it will still be there so it means you can save some record for the temporary basis okay because because if you will use commit it will get permanently saved all right so we will understand everything with the examples how we can use how it's work in in real world everything all right so without any further delay let's get started So for example now we have one table by the name of student as you can see here we have a five record like a student id name age city and course all right now for example i will insert one record into it let me insert it and i hit a control enter now as you can see here there are a total six record into the table all right now if you will roll back roll back this what will happen what is the use of rollback it is undo the records like this record we i uh, insert it should get undo right so but what happened it doesn't get undo why it's happened because here our art auto commit is unable so that is why it doesn't get rollback so what you have to do simply you have to write auto commit is equal to zero it will get turned off now let's insert one more record and then we will un understand how it uh, work right let me insert one more record okay and we will hit control enter so what will happen let me copy paste this from here now there are total seven records right but we turn off the auto commit now if you will do roll back what just happened here that record just now we have inserted like this one the seventh record smith it is not there because we use a auto commit okay i hope everybody uh, clear until here that how rollback works okay let's turn turn on the auto commit first and then we'll go further okay so to turn on the auto commit what you have to do just copy paste this and put it somewhere and just is equal to you will write one hit the control enter the auto commit will turn it on again all right so now what we will do let's uh try one more record that it is working or not okay so let me uh insert one more record and then we will understand that 
how it's working or not all right so okay so for example i insert one more record into the same table and i hit control enter and now we will try to roll back this okay now as you can see it doesn't roll back because we have turned it on the auto commit again okay so whenever auto commit is on this is for on okay we will write in the comment that on and this is for off okay so i hope everybody clear what is the auto commit and how it's work and how rollback work all right now we will delete all the records from the student table and then we'll go further because you know uh, in real world you cannot do all the time like rollback 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 and all these things right in real world there will be a for example when it's come to the financial transaction the bank you can say what that does there are a lot of transaction happen every time every second every minute you can say so they cannot do all the time auto comment rollback because what happened when you when they did like you know you me and anyone did transaction all the time it doesn't get successful right sometimes it get uh, failed like for example you are sending some money to your friend and it got failed so that time they cannot do all the time ro roll back this and all so they set something right so that is why we use a start transaction so in the start transaction what will happen we will understand step by step let me delete first this like you know from the student table we will delete all the records okay we will write delete from students okay now if you will check here there are a table and there is no record okay so before we go further make sure whenever you are using a tcl command you make sure only dml command in work in the tcl command like you can insert the record and all whatever happened in the tml command that if you try to you know use different command like dql like you want to rename and all it will automatically committed you cannot roll back that okay all right so let's understand the start transaction how it's work for example now there is nothing in the table okay i will write here start transaction okay and i hit the control enter and then we insert some records into the student table okay so this record we have inserted into the student table and i run this so now as you can see here there are again five records inside the student tables all right record and we will try to roll back this and let's see what will happen we will write roll back and hit the control enter let's check the student table now oh there are no any record okay so let's do it again same thing we will repeat it again all right what we will do we will insert same record we will copy paste from here and we will insert it again into the same table and then we will try with the rollback okay then again i will do rollback and i hit the control enter let's check the student table oh there is again record why it's not gone okay so i will explain to you what happened here exactly whenever you using the start transaction in the first time the auto commit will get turned off but again you insert the few records and again you did a rollback in that time auto commit will turn it on so it means when whenever you are using a start transaction it will automatically turn it on and turn it off the auto commit all right I hope everybody clear with this that how rollback work and how start transaction work. All right, but in this case, what what is happening? Uh, we don't have any control on this, you know, particular tables. You can say select so start from student. Let me write it down. Now, what is happening? We don't have any particular control in this table. For example, I want to roll back. I did insert few records, like you know i insert this five record and uh, i want to roll back just you know one or two records from here 
so for that save point comes into the pictures in the save point point as i mentioned earlier it is save the any particular record for the temporary base it is not a permanent right like you know uh, you are not committing anything that it will get saved for the permanent base it will get saved for the temporary base okay so let's understand the save point now save points all right how it's work okay for example let me delete first all the record and then we will understand okay so i will write delete from students okay now as you can see here there are no any record into the student table all right so let's understand uh, we will do same thing again we will copy paste this start transaction i did start tra transaction and this time what i did i did not insert all the record one time for example there are only two student i you insert the record of two student into the tables all right then what i did the another day like two more student came i want to insert the record right so you uh, you will write in that scenario you will write say point two for example i will write a table name a okay and i will hit a control enter then today also again two more student came uh, let's take this two student okay because as you can see here let me show you there are only two record in there there are only two record right now all right so again there is a two more student came this is the our permanent student right now and now there are two two more student came you are you right like you know say point a you hit the control enter and you insert the two more student records like from i will copy paste this and you run this query okay now as you can see here there are total four oh sorry something wrong okay now as you can see here there are total four record inside the tables see we use a save point a but it doesn't affect the tables okay now let's say tomorrow two more student came again you use this save point and you write save point b and here what you did you insert that two more student record like five and let's take uh, six from here okay all right now if you will check here select star from students you will see there are a total six record in the uh, student table okay and the another day there is two more student came in the uh, for the admission you can say okay and we will use say point c okay and we will hit control enter and two more student record we can take this seven and eight okay okay i copy paste from the top i don't want to write again and again the lot of records right that's why i'm just copying paste copy pasting here okay i will take this student also from here okay now as you can see here now in our total class we have a to student okay but suddenly what happened here after few days or after one week the c student like you know uh, the student uh, this two is student like you know student id 7 and 8 they don't want to be in this part of this school and if you will do roll back like we did earlier what happened exactly all record get deleted or you can say all record get undo but whenever you are using a save point you can make sure the the remaining record should be there but only the records we want to delete that we uh, we want to delete from the day like you know this is for like you know 
yesterday this is for before yesterday and this is for before yesterday all right so now what i will do means these two students don't want to be a part of our school so i want to roll back this because i don't want to be part of our table this all right so in this scenario what i will do i will write roll back if you hit roll back directly what will happen all the records get undo or deleted from the tables but i will simply write roll back to c then what will happen if you hit the control enter now if you will check there are only six students because from the c tables we have removed it okay so i hope you are clear that how we can delete few records like you know a b and c we re uh, remove this record from the c and now our remaining six student then will be our permanent in the class so in the last what we will do i will write commit if you will hit control enter now it will get saved in our database or in hard drive or wherever they save it for permanently okay right i hope everybody clear with the commit rollback and save point okay so especially the financial you know uh, in the financial uh, transaction we use this kind of uh, commands so you can do that okay but make sure whenever you are using any tcl command do not use any decal or you know whenever you use a rename or anything it will not work here because if you it will work but it will get committed directly you cannot roll back all these things all right so till then happy learning keep supporting and don't forget to subscribe my channel